<laughs> the stitches kind of ruined the night. I mean, I'm so scared of st shots and stitches in general, man. Kind of ruined the night. It is what it is. Um, I, I'm, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. I'm definitely excited. But it's just a blessing, though, because I never really played on a team that cared that much about somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, I, I needed one rebound, and my whole team's trying to tip tip the ball to wheel, tip the ball to wheel. You know, it just feels good. It's exciting, though. And like, I'm, I'm out here trying to be a leader and changing who I am as a person, and my team is, like, rocking with me to the end. So it's just exciting. That's the more exciting part other than the triple-double, to be honest. When did you know you were going to be Um, I mean, I kind of figured it, like, I was like, it took me like nine minutes to get the last rebound. I kind of figured it, like, uh, we, we were only at the jump, though. I had to start the game off with, like, five rebounds, five assists. So it's kind of like a awareness since then. But I'm not really playing to get it. If it happens, it happens. But I know I need to work on my rebound anyway, so. Is there ever a point in the game where you realize that it could potentially come into play? Because, like you said, I think the first five minutes you had five rebounds. That's yeah. Yeah, that, that's when I kind of felt it. Like, I, I was like, okay, they're not boxing me out today. I could, I could go rebound, help my team out a little bit. And then once like once you said like uh maybe like 11, 12 minutes left, I had nine rebounds, ten assists, and however many points. But I was, I kind of was aware then, but we weren't trying to force it though. So I had nine rebounds all the way to the last shot of the game. But is this for your career high too? Just what did you see on the floor to, to allow you to get something? Uh, I mean, it, it, to be honest, it wasn't me. It really wasn't me. I mean, Quincy was hit five threes in a row. Contested. I didn't make no spectacular play. He made the spectacular shot. So definitely wasn't me. It's my teammates, man. For sure. You came out of that where you had to get those assists. Well, you guys had one of your better shooting nights all around, especially from three. Uh, what, what allowed it for you and for everybody to shoot pretty well? Um, I mean, th this is just how basketball and life goes in general, you know. Like, you're not going to shoot a well every night. Every day's not going to be a good game. But we got good shooters on our team. Like, it's kind of surprised me, you know, I've been for a long time. It kind of surprised me that we haven't been shooting well. So tonight's more normal for us. Like, we're more, like, feeling like ourselves. Like, we got great shooters. Like, Quincy, 40% three-point shooter. We got Khalil. We got Waldo. We got uh, Brendan back stepping into a big role. He helps a lot just spacing the floor. But, I mean, we just – it's just confidence, man. We just keep shooting every night. And eventually, one night, <laughs> they got to go in, you know. <laughs> well, how, how, how did exactly did you create your elbow? Uh – I mean, I, I, I just fell and hit the floor. Yeah, impact in the floor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Does it feel like the best game, not just of the season for you, but one of your better games of your career? I mean, statistically, obviously, yes, it's really tough. But beyond that, the shooting, it's like all, all around. Does um, it feel like yeah, it does feel like one of the better games. I wouldn't say the best, but it does feel like one of the better games of my career. But, I mean, I, I, I've been feeling pretty good, like, these last four or five games. It's like my assist number's been up, like, I feel a lot more healthier than I did last year, but and then like just just again like my my teammates and my coaches are just believing in me. Like I never really felt this type of confidence before. I'm at one point I was shooting like 15% from three, and all I can hear is coach, I'm a jacket, shoot it, shoot it. Like I mean that's fun as a player, you know. It's exciting. So and I and I've been talking to all, coach Armin and all the coaches like just just bringing it every day like as a leader, being in a great mood. Like no matter what happens off the court, being in a great mood on the court. And it, I mean it took me a long time to buy into it. I don't know why I was so stubborn, but it's it's working. Like it's just. Helped me a lot. You guys have been here this long. You, I'm sure you have met Luke Jackson, and I, I know Ron Lee still lives in town, but mm -hmm. have you met these guys? Because I think I'm going to tell the two guys who've ever done it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, so close with him, but I'm, I'm sure I bumped into him, met him before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I didn't know it been 20 years, though. That's kind of crazy. Shout out to my teammates.